many hours later. I'm just so damn good at it. Good at it. Good at it. In Hollywood, Are we in Hollywood? Two very boring minutes later. One minute, 37 seconds later. And, uh... He knows his name. Time out. I did order this shirt. Let's go Brandon, FJB, from the Hodge Twins. I'm a huge fan. Two hours later. I was in Home Depot grabbing stuff for Star. I'm in this little town and I ran into Paul Viamonte, a lava management. He is amazing. He's gonna say hello and I am honored and definitely check out his stuff, you guys. I watched her videos. This is amazing what she's doing. I'm a, a fan. She's doing a great job with this project and all her other projects. Please keep following, support this type of stuff. This is entrepreneurship in its finest. Someone is putting things together and networking out there. This is what we're all about. Please reach out and subscribe to her channel. She's awesome and you'll learn a lot of good tips. And if there's anything I can do to help you guys, reach out too. I wish you all the luck and I think she's gonna do a great job. Thank you. longer than a few minutes later. They got me where they know who I am. 346 minutes later. I'm so hungry right now. My microwave won't work because I need power. <laughs> oh, Panda's licking me. Hi, Panda. Panda ate. Look, he's licking his chops. Panda ate. This is why I have to get my solar panels. That is such a priority. I gotta knock that out. But the problem, you guys, is I don't know anything about this electrical. I can build stuff all day, but when it comes to the electrical stuff, Supposed to start the electrical first. I kind of did that kind of wrong. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, so yeah. That's kind of why I didn't waste too much time on the ceiling. Because the whole ceiling's gonna have to come down because there's wires all up and then. Do you wanna see what I have in my cupboard? Remember VCR? My mom's. She used to have a VCR holder and she went to throw it away and I said, oh no, no, it's, it holds my canned goods. <laughs> There's nothing in here except SpaghettiOs. Hey, you get some barbecue sauce. <laughs> you get some lemon pepper tuna. <laughs> and then we, we're SpaghettiO in the hotel. Some bean back. We need to go shopping. What's on the menu tonight? Spaghettios. The good news is that if you're gonna eat spaghettios, don't heat it up in the microwave. <laughs> this can is made to open without a can opener. Another sign. And just heat it right off the can. I'm just gonna eat some spaghettios tonight for dinner, okay? Mm. 
Panda actually likes the meatballs too. I mean, it's probably dog grade meat, but. I love it. <laughs> Wait, let me find a meatball. They always put them way down at the bottom. I want a meatball. Where's the fucking meatball, bro? Oh, I got one. Oh, look. Can you see that meatball? See that meatball? <laughs> you know, I got some Italian in me, right? I don't care that it tastes like tomato soup. <laughs> If anybody meets up, meets up. <laughs> if anybody meets up to heat up spaghetti meatballs. We can't hang out. I can't hang out with you anyways. You know, I don't have no friends. This is why. <laughs> Panda's my friend. He's my best friend. This is my dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Is this almost like that muff gang? Muff gang? Muff gang? What do you call it? No. Not that. I'm gonna see if Panda was. Panda, you went to Meatball? Look. Oh! Muff gang! Panda's doing muff. Oh! A spaghetti all fell on the mermaid tail. He's eating it on camera. You ready to do a food review? Oh! He dropped another noodle. Panda's gonna have to have a bath tomorrow with his beard. Panda's doing Mup Gang! Mup Gang? Mup Bang? I, I gotta look that up. Just so you know, I have two spoons. <laughs> Woo! Twelve seconds later. I got an appetite because me so hungry. Hungry. Oh, me so hungry. Hungry. Mm -hmm. Hungry. We haven't eaten in a long time. <coughs> Imagine if I just choke on a meatball, I would be in the high molecule. Nobody would be here to save me. I almost just died on camera. Trying to disappoint you. <laughs> Eleven minutes later. That noodle just did, man. It's like a nose ring on a can. That's kind of cool. Campbell's, maybe, maybe Campbell's can start doing nose rings. Charms. Clip-ons. I don't know. I give this a 10 out of 10. Get it like a tin can. How's my bougie friends out there doing? Yeah? Good for you. <laughs> they look like this. Yeah! Look at him! Oh, he's fucking chill. That's my friend right there. Spaghetti yo in the house. Me too. I, I will prove it. I'm just saying, like, I literally had this here and I eat it. I had two. I'm still hungry though. I can eat some too. I'm still hungry though. I want to eat more. We're going grocery. 20 minutes later. I found this copper sink. I am going to use this in my build. This countertop is not going to stay this way. I'm trying to pre build out what I'm going to do with my counter space area. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the exterior cabinet. And I also would like to just make note of the glowy shoes that I have. A little longer than a few minutes later. For this first cabinet, okay. Basically like my office. So I have my sewing machine in here and I have it padded down so that nothing rattles and gets broken. Color printer. And then I just have like more sewing items. What do you call those? Ring light stands, stuff like that. But all my sewing supplies that you can kind of see. Okay, so opposite my front door on the other side, this long cabinet is where I keep my generator. To need to 
had this down with some type of felt fabric. I have a shop vac in here for now. I have a five gallon gas container, three life jackets, a couple tents, extra diamond plates. What's gonna go in here though is actually going to be my inverter and everything that's going to be running my system to power my solar panels and etc. And all of that will be attached to the walls. We did kind of start naming the tubes. The wiring in this is extremely difficult. So this closet will take some time. This will be basically be my electrical closet. Also under my front right here, all my batteries to my truck are in this area. We'll be able to connect the batteries to the inverter. Kind of wonky in here right now, but that's what this closet is. Oh, and this is just a tarp. Next up, sports closet. Boxing gloves, two sets of, I love rollerblades, and these are the three wheel. I have the yellow, pink and yellow, both three wheel. It's a football, of course. I have my football. All right, I've got, ooh, my snorkel mask. Dive fins, body glove. This is a leash for surfboards. This is a 12 foot inflatable paddleboard, which holds two adults. I have two of these on board. My other one is stored underneath cabinet inside. A life jacket for Panda, boxing gloves. It's just like an outdoor cooler thing. Best friend Nikki gave me this. This is an earth pack, which is basically a waterproof bag for when you go out onto the water. That's what's in my sports area for now. I have my garage. I do not yet have a wall built out, so this is where the chaise lounge is on the other side. My garage basically has like all of my tools. What the? F okay, this is not even. Should I keep this in the video or edit out? How does this get in? Oh my god, it must have fell down and into. Okay, let's just move forward really fast because I could always edit that out. Um, down here, I have all of my tools. I do have this little popcorn thing here because I didn't have a, I just like the size of this bucket. But basically, my round saw, all of my saws, all of my sanders, anything that you can think of that has to do with tools is in this area. is in this area. Okay, guess what? I'm gonna show you something. Kind of weird, but let me show you. This is my epoxy resin. This is made in China. This is my shower. Look what it says, made in China. No. Oh my gosh. I just had an epiphany. I want to go around my truck and find items that are made in China. I wonder how many items in here are made in China. My truck is an international 4300 and it's made in USA. By the way. Oh my gosh. Hour later. They don't know what happened to me. Let's start with these popsicle sticks. These are oh, made in China. It's right here. Made in China. Popsicle sticks. Hold on. This like massager thing. Made in China. I don't know if it's backwards, but. Okay, um, also this, um, excuse me. 
door damper thing is made in China. It's like a door stopper or whatever. Oh my gosh, you're not even gonna believe this. These, my Grand Lux tarot cards are made in China. Look, made in China. It's a lot of items, you guys. Oh, I found some more too. Where is it? Oh, my Angels 101 book is, oh, yep. Oh, printed, printed in China. Printed in China. I don't know if you see that. What else did I find? Oh, these are just like hair color things. These are made in China. Yeah, right down there, made in China. China, right at the bottom there. Made in China. What else did I find? Also this, also this. These are like the little Playboy nipple rings. I don't have these, but I just have them just in case. Uh, made in China. Made in China. Made in China. Oh my God! Did you see that? Look what. So the Chinese spy balloon, what they're doing is they're up there and they're just looking down at America like these dumb mothers. Really up there in their spy balloon looking down on America and saying, wow, look at all our shit. <laughs> we buy everything, everything, everything we buy from them. They're up there looking down. I remember when I made that. I remember. Oh. Oh shit, they got a classic. We we that's last year's model, you know, like or that's 15 years ago. Like they're like, "Oh, there's our car. There's our car." They they literally make everything, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. I found a couple things that are made in the USA. <laughs> Envelopes. <laughs> and made in USA. These are like cutting board things for the kitchen, like little Let's go have some fun. I What's the move? I wonder how many jackets are gonna be more. Jacket, let's <laughs> Two. This is leather, you guys. What? And I can't look at get too far. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, in my hat. I'm gonna hang up my hat too. <laughs> I can't. They're probably up there in their balloon looking down on America and saying, I love Chinese people, by the way, and I love Chinese food. And I love things made in China. I mean, in fact, in their balloon looking down on us in America like half of, half of our products are all over the place look there's one there's one there's one there's one there's, you know what I mean that's what they're spying for they're doing a ratio how much shit can we see from the sky that's made in China compared to what America's making it's exactly what their Chinese spy balloon is doing I would want to spy on someone too if they had all my shit you know I mean even if they were buying it that's something to be proud of it's the following day.
hours later. Follow me for this. All of the items in my bag. I am going to now demonstrate how you can have the most fun with your dildo. I hope you're ready. 12 seconds later. All right, you guys. I'm going to show you how you can have the most fun with your made in China dildo. I brought all of the items, I'm sweating. All the items outside and I'm gonna, we're gonna see which, um, which one can go the farthest. We're gonna kind of slingshot them. Here we go. First up, we're gonna do our, the China made popsicle sticks. That's how far it went. We're gonna measure, we're gonna see what, Rapping on me, they don't know what happened to me. I seen them back in the hearse, I put on the work. I'm up with my dogs, I get it. None of you niggas are trapping, I did all the rapping. Joe Kelly, that nigga, forget it. A nigga just sitting in the wave, I'm digging your grave right after I do my repentance. Weedy and all of them niggas don't told me their stories, I listen, but I.